It's the Roy Rogers Show. Happy trails to you. It's nice to meet again. Happy trails to you. Until the journey's end. Most Great Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal, brings you the Roy Rogers Show. Transcribed on the Double R Bar Ranch with Pat Brady and the Queen of the West, Day 11. Happy trails to you. Time to ride again. And here he is, in person, the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers. Well, howdy, folks. You know, being a cowboy, you need lots of energy. That's why Grape Nuts Flakes is the cereal I like for strength and energy. Just two minutes after you eat a big bowl full, that whole wheat energy starts going to work for you. Try Grape Nuts Flakes Buckaroos. They're great. <laughs> It's mid-afternoon on a warm, spring-like day at the Double R Bar Ranch. Pat Brady's chores are finished, or at any rate put off, and... Nellie Bell, you're purring like a tame wildcat today. Hey, Roy, I gotta get into town and sling hash. You going with me? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Trigger. Yeah, might as well, Pat. I'm not going to Nellie Bell, though. I'll ride Trigger. Say, where's Bullet? I ain't seen him for a while. He's been chasing around all day with that little black and tan dog. Wonder where it came from. I don't know. I don't know of anyone near here who owns Welsh Terriers. Uh, they're fine little dogs, though. Well, there's Bullet. Hi there, fella. His little pal don't seem to be with him. Must have given him the brush off. Well, what's the matter with you, Bullet? He's upset about something. He, he wants us to follow him. Bullet! What's the matter, boy? Maybe we'd better find out what's on his mind. He doesn't act like that without a reason. Yeah, we'd better. If we started for town now, I'd probably get to the cafe early. No matter whether there was anything to do or not, Dale would find something. All right, then, let's go. In behind these trees ought to be okay, eh, Duff? All right, out, Taylor. Just park her and put down the tailgate and I'll get to work. Lucky we cut the dog. Well, if we hadn't, I'd have found another. You should have picked up that big shepherd that was running with her. Or were you afraid of him? I can handle any dog that's ever lived. But the Welsh will do the job, all right. There you are. Right, help. I'll get my medicine and my needles ready. Take the dog out of the crate. All right. Come on, you. <laughs> she isn't very big. You sure she'll do the business stuff? Well, once I shoot her full of the live rabies virus, she'll bite anything that gets in her way. Being small, it ain't likely to be noticed right away. How long do you think it'll take her to work over the herd? Well, we turn her loose with the cattle for an hour. She'll spread enough rabies so the old herd will have to be destroyed. Yep, there we are. Hold her steady, Tyler. And inject the stuff right beyond the shoulder. All right, don't move, either of you. We've got you covered. Yeah, you bet we have. We heard everything you said. Whoa, oh, you... No, no. Easy there, Bullet. Your little pal's gonna be all right. But hold up, men tough. We're not armed and... Hold up, men nothing. But we know what you were planning to do to that dog. I'll take that needle and bottle for evidence, fella. Oh, wait a minute now. This is my dog, and what I'll do with it is my business. Oh, no, it isn't. You're in Paradise Valley, and that makes it my business. Hold this stuff, Pat. Sure, right. And keep that other fella covered. I'm going to show this chap how I feel about animals. Now, look, don't come at me with them guns. I'm putting my guns away. Oh, want to have a go at it with a fist, eh? Well, that's different. Take him apart, Duff. That's all I will. All right, try it. Yes. Attaboy, Roy. Give him that left hook again. Right. Hoop. Stay away from that left of his. Attaboy, Roy. Attaboy. Now you're waxing him, Roy. You've got the hang of his style. Ah, oh, you got him, Roy. You knocked him down. Now suppose I take the other. Hey, where did he go? Pat, the station wagon. Oh, gosh, Roy, I'm sorry. By the time we go back over the hill and get Nellie Bell and Trigger, he'll have too much of a start on us. Well, Bullet's chasing him anyway. Maybe there's no real harm done, Pat. Maybe this one's ready to talk. Oh, uh, blimey. 
You hit like a horse kicks. We can start over again, Duff, unless you tell us just whose cattle you were trying to infect with rabies. I don't know nothing about it, Governor. I'll just work for Jim Tyler, the chap what got away. Jim Taylor, huh? All right. Where's he from and where's he headed for now? I'll tell you I don't know. He contacted me to buy a dog and inoculate it. I never laid eyes on him before today. All right, Duff. Maybe sitting in the jail will help your memory. Come on, Pat. We'll tie him and get him into town in a hurry. Roy, Pat, what happened? Oh, sorry I'm late for work, Dale. Me and Roy ran into a couple of the rottenest customers you ever heard of. And this is one of them. Uh, not so rough there. I'm tired, aren't I? Have you seen the sheriff, Dale? There's no one around the jail. Well, he left here. Let's see. It was about a half an hour ago, wasn't it, Mr. McReady? Yes, I should think so. What was this fellow up to, Roy? Oh, hello there, Mr. McReady. Uh, we caught him and his partner trying to inoculate a dog with live rabies virus. They were planning to turn the dog loose in a herd of cattle somewhere as soon as the virus took effect. Oh, Why, uh, uh, that would infect a whole herd practically overnight. They'd all have to be destroyed. Well, of all the rotten things I ever heard of, I'm certainly glad you caught him. Oh, was just working for somebody. Yeah, the only trouble is his partner got away. His partner? Who is he? Well, Duff says his name's Jim Taylor. And as soon as we get Duff behind bars, we'll start after him. Well, we'd better load him in Nellie Bell again and take another look for the old sheriff. Yeah, I guess so. Roy, your prisoner's pretty well tied up. If you want to leave him here, I'll be glad to keep an eye and a gun on him. Why don't you do that, Roy? And while you and Pat are looking around town for the sheriff, I can be phoning some of the places farther out. It's a good idea, Dale. Duff's sort in the way in that Jeep anyway. If he tries anything, McReady, don't be easy on him. He's a bad one. Don't worry, I won't. Who knows, it could be my cattle he and his partner were after. Well, come on, Pat, let's go. We'll be back in 10 or 15 minutes, Dale. Right. I'll do what I can to locate the sheriff, too. Boy, Nellie Bell's running good today, Roy. you got to give her credit for that. I just hope she keeps on running. Well, Duff, or whatever your name is, I wouldn't offer you a cup of coffee even if your hands weren't tied. You're going to see some Paradise Valley justice, fellow. Oh, quit picking on me. I was only I had to do a job. Mr. McReady, is there anything else I can get you before I start phoning? No, I'm fine, thanks, Miss Evans. All right, then. Keep an eye on that prisoner. You bet I will. Just sit still there now. Don't move. Hey, now you're going to get me out of this spot, boss. I'll untie you. Take my horse and join Taylor at the shack. That's where he must have gone. Oh, I suppose so. The dog's still in a station wagon. You fix that dog and turn it loose in my herd right away. I'll make a lot more collecting the insurance than I could fattening the critters and sell them on the market. All right, McReady. But Rogers and Brady will be plenty sore when they find me gone. Yeah, they should have tied you tighter. Won't be my fault if you break loose and knock me out with the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see those ropes. Yeah. Yeah. That feels better, boss. Sure glad you happened to be in here. Well, the sheriff certainly isn't it. Mr. McReady, what are you doing? Hey, how much did she hear? Look out, he's dangerous. Not as dangerous as I am, Miss Evans. Oh. Maybe you were phoning the sheriff, and maybe you were eavesdropping. Well, if you heard anything, you heard too much. Take her with you, Duff. I'll be along later. How about him? How about him? How about those grape nuts flakes? How about those grape nuts flakes? How about him? How about him? How about those grape nuts flakes? They are so good, good for you, too. The two-minute energy works for you, so how about them, how about them? How about Grape Nuts Flakes? Yep, how about those Grape Nuts Flakes? Taking old hands advice, partners. Tomorrow, when you roll out of your bunk, corral a bowl full of that great energy-given cereal, Grape Nuts Flakes. Grape Nuts Flakes are called the great two-minute energy cereal because two minutes after you polish off a bowl full, their powerhouse whole wheat energy starts to go to work for you. That's the kind of quick energy you fellers and gals need. You'll go for Grape Nuts Flakes sugar roasted flavor. It's delicious. So ask Mom to get you Grape Nuts Flakes, the two-minute energy cereal. Look for Roy's picture on the front of the package. While Roy and Pat look for the sheriff, 
McReady cuts his henchman loose and sends him off to the hidden shack with Dale as his prisoner. And when our friends return to the Eureka Cafe, they find McReady stretched on the floor, evidently the victim of the prisoner who was left in his charge. You all right now, Mr. McReady? Yes, yes, I, I think so. Man, that duff must have really clobbered you with this sugar bowl. Stuff spilled all over this plate. He yeah, must have. Suddenly I saw that his hands were loose, and that's the last I remember. Well, where's Dale? She's all right, isn't she? The sheriff's wife told her the sheriff was playing horseshoes over at the playground, and she went to get him just before Duff jumped me. Roy, we never thought of looking there. And of course, there ain't no phone on the playground. Well, she should be back with the sheriff soon. Uh, say, your horse is gone, McReady. Uh, Duff must have taken it. Hey, let's start out after him, Roy. Wait. Hey, here's Bullet. Maybe he wants to take us to that station wagon he was chasing. Bullet, what is it, boy? That's what he wants. I'm going with him while it's still daylight. But what about Duff and my horse? We're likely to find him and Taylor at the same place. Pat, as soon as Dale comes back with the sheriff, round up a posse in a hurry and follow us. Okay, Roy. All right, Bullet. Trigger and I are coming. Duff can't have been tied very tightly, Pat. Can't have been tied very tightly? Well, I put the ropes on myself. Your jeep's outside. Why don't we leave a note for Dale and start out after Roy? Well, Roy said to wait for... Oh, excuse me. Of all the crazy cutting, picking ties for a phone to ring. Double R. I mean, Eureka Cafe. Well, Dale ain't here. The sheriff's wife told her the sheriff was playing horseshoes out on the playground, and she went to get him. What? You didn't tell her any such thing? You, you only said you'd try to locate your husband, and you still haven't? Well, Mrs. Sheriff, there's an awful mix up here someplace. G goodbye. Mr. McReady, if that ain't the dog gone to. McReady, where are you? Hey, where are you going to Nelly Bell? Hey, McReady, McReady! Hey, he's the one who told us the sheriff's wife talked to Dale. Well, buttermilk must be out in the stable, and I just hope it stays light long enough for me to follow the tire marks. Ain't nobody gonna steal Nelly Bell and get away with it. I hope. <laughs> Comfortable, lady? Let me loose. Let me loose. Now, take it easy, lady. That's a comfortable chair. Comfortable? I can't budge. You just relax until McReady gets here. Then we'll figure out what to do with you. When Roy Rogers finds out that McCready's hired you two to destroy his own herd of cattle, he'll certainly make short work of the three of you. If Rogers ever does find out, it'll be too late. Why don't you give the dog the rabies germs right now, Duff? Rogers' big dog won't interfere again. I... I caught him nosing around, so I tossed a rope on him and tied him up outside. Wait a minute. We didn't see no dog up there when we rode up. What? Oh, he's broken loose. Well, he'll know what to do. Look, Tyler, you can't just throw a rope around a trained German shepherd and expect him to stay put. They'll chew loose in a minute. Hey, if he finds Rogers and brings him here, what'll we do, Duff? If he brings him here, we'll be ready for him. Now, get out of yourself, Tyler. It's almost dark outside, ain't it? Yes, but... All right. We move the lady's chair right up the middle of the room and set the lamp so it lights her up. That cowboy will come rushing to rescue her, and we'll be waiting for him. With guns this time. Ooh, ooh, Trigger. This is far enough, boy. Hey, there's a light in that cabin window. You stay here, Trigger. Bullet, you and I'll creep up. Now, quiet, Trigger boy. Sound carries on a night like this. Come on, Bullet. Hey, Bullet, there's Dale. She's tied right in front of the window. Someone must be waiting to open up on us when we go to help her. Probably the same men we caught working on your little friend this afternoon. <laughs> quiet, Bullet, quiet, boy. All right, Rogers. Get to Octavia Roy. The two of us here... Tyler has a rifle trained on the light, and if he don't surrender, he'll shoot. It's too dark to see them, and if we get into that light... I'll count to ten, Rogers. One. Hey, that's never two, Bullet. Three. Go get Pat. Four. I'll stall somewhere. Five, Go get Pat. Six. Come on up, Rogers. Seven. I'm right here, Duff. Come on up. Eight. Uh, light's out in the cabin. The girl, she kicked the lamp somehow. Good work, Dale. I can't see him, but I can smoke him out. <laughs> Shoot, Tyler. Get Rogers. He's down the path somewhere. You bet. Thanks, boys. I wanted to see those flashes from your guns. Oh, he's got me, Duff, in the foot. 
I know right where you are, and I'm sheltered. I got your booth covered now because you're caught in those headlights. Come on, throw down your gun. Oh, all right, don't. I give up. Don't shoot again, Rogers. I'll throw down my gun. Hey, you got here just in time, Pat. Cover those two men. They didn't realize it, but I have to reload. Don't bother to reload, Rogers, because my guns are full. McReady. My men may blunder, Rogers, but I don't. Now get down to that cabin. I know a sure way to finish you for good. Time for another Roy Rogers reminder. Know how to win. Yep, buckaroos, that's Roy's reminder for today. You know what a great feeling it is when you win a prize in school or win the big game? You get lots of praise. But partners, don't let that praise go to your head so much you crow over the losers. On the other hand, when you're on top, you've got to try and stay there. You have to keep right on practicing to keep on winning. And talking about winning the top honors next time, one of the best ways to do it is to stay healthy. Eat plenty of nourishing food like Post's Grape Nuts Flakes. The cereal Roy likes best for building up strength and energy. Yes, kids, Roy eats Grape Nuts Flakes for energy. His picture's on every package. Yes, Roy likes those well-tasting Grape Nuts Flakes because their whole wheat energy starts going to work for you just two minutes after you eat a big, multi-rich bowlful. That's energy you need for most everything you do during the day. And you'll like the flavor of sugar-roasted Grape Nuts Flakes. So if you want to be king of the cowboys in your corral, ask your mom to get you Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal. Grape Nuts Flakes is one of the triple wrap post cereals, guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. Roy empties his guns at McReady's henchmen, and they surrender as they're caught in Nellie Bell's approaching headlights. But the man who gets out of the jeep and strides up to Roy is McReady. It's a few minutes later in the tiny cabin. Flash the light over here again, Duff. Right, huh? Good job. They're tied plenty tight. You figured to collect insurance on a herd of infected cattle, is that it, McReady? Yeah, you aren't going to stop me. Do you think for a minute they won't get wise to you? Of course not. A mad dog runs amok in the herd, and it's just one of those things. I'll make plenty. Your partners have bungled everything so far. It's likely to happen again. Not when I'm here to take charge of things. All set, McReady. I've got the hose attached to the exhaust of the Jeep and leading in through the window. Window slammed down tight on it? Sure. Off a mow there, boss. Hmm? What about the Brady chap? He hasn't the faintest idea that I'm connected with you two. I'll handle him later. He's easy. All right. But I wish we had Roger's dog to suffocate in here with him. Yeah, that dog's nothing but trouble. Forget him. He came along while I was driving up in Brady's Jeep. But he kept right on going the other way. Well, now we're all set. We'll go out and start the motor. Carbon monoxide will knock him out in half an hour. Quite a plan, McReady. But if I was a betting man, I'll bet you won't get away with it. Nothing in the world can stop us now. Come on, man. Just slam it. No need to lock it. Roy, maybe Nellie Bell won't start. I hope not, Dale, but... This is one day she's running like silk. Well, where is Bullet, Roy? If he saw McReady in the Jeep, why did he let him get away? Because I sent him after Pat. There's always a chance he'll find him in time. Of all the ornery Jeeps. Roy, what do we do? Easy, Dale. We'll think of something. I'm getting dizzy. Well, keep your face close to the floor, Dale. The air's better down there. Oh, it would be easier if it weren't so dark. If only I hadn't broken the lamp. It's a lucky thing you did. I'm working my ropes against a piece of the glass. We'll be out of this in no time. Oh, Roy, that's wonderful. But we'll still have to face their guns, and we aren't armed. We'll have to try to catch them off guard. There, I'm loose. And as soon as I shut off that carbon monoxide, I'll get the ropes off of you. But you'll have to crawl outside to turn off the motor. No, I won't. I'll stuff my neckerchief in the hose. The motor will stop when the exhaust is plugged. Oh, Roy, if we could just get some air. It won't be long now, Dale. Lie still, Dale. When they come down to see what's wrong, they're bound to shine their flashlight in here. 
Let them think we're unconscious. Oh, I'm so close to being unconscious that I... Shh, get that motor started again, Taylor. Yeah, Maybe the broom thing's out of gas. Oh, no, there's plenty of gas in it. Step on the starter, Taylor. Yeah, sure. Turn the light in the window, Bill. Ah, Rogers and the girl haven't moved. Well, maybe they're down in by now. Oh, there's hardly been enough time to be sure. Get that thing started, Taylor. You won't start, boss. Let's have the light. Now, Dale, can you crawl for the door? Sure I can. I'm feeling better already. I'd better lift up the hood and look at the wire. No, no, no. You'll get the station wagon. Stop and I'll push the jeep out of the way. Be ready now, Dale. As soon as Trigger stirs things up, I'll jump in and get McReady's guns. I'm with you, Roy. Probably should have used the station wagon in the first place. Uh, maybe there's a jinx on this deal, boss. Over here, Trigger. Fast, boy. McReady, what's that? The light. Quick, where's the light? Tiny spot. <laughs> I've got enough light, McReady. Get what I need. Let, let go of my guns, Rogers. You let go. Get the horse away from me. Hey, what's the matter down there? You'll find out, Taylor. Oh. Take this gun, Dale, and keep duck covered. I've got McReady. Help! Help! Stand stock still in those headlights, Duff, and Roy will call off his horse. Okay, boy. Trigger, that's enough, boy. Now, McReady, suppose you move out into the headlights, too. Take that gun out of my back, Rogers. Don't shoot. I'm not planning to shoot. But I'm going to show you what happens to anyone who treats animals the way you do. Help me. Taylor, stop. They can't help you a bit, because I don't mind shooting if I have to. Come down here with your hands up, Taylor. Let me go, Rogers. You've got me wrong. We've had you wrong for many years, McReady, but not anymore. I'm giving you every bit you can take. Now, Duff, you were pretty handy with your fist this afternoon. Let's see what happens now. Uh, you hit me a lucky one. I'll take you this time. All right, try it. Roy, that was fast. Oh, oh, oh there, Buttercup. Oh. Nellie Bell, girl. Roy and Dale, what's happening? McGrady ran off to Nellie Bell, and if I catch him... Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, you just caught him too late, Pat. Roy persuaded him to take a nap. Now, you, Taylor. Don, Don, I nicked in the foot, nicked in the wrist. Uh, I've had enough. Now get over here, then. Come on, Pat. We'll tie these three in a jeep and let the sheriff take care of them from now on. Okay. Man, will I be glad to hear Nellie Bell a purring again. Huh? We were mighty glad to hear her stop. I guess you'll purr all right, Pat, as soon as I get my neckerchief out of the hose that's attached to the exhaust pipe. Huh? I'll tell you later, Pat. Bullet has something on his mind again. What's the matter, Bullet Boy? You've certainly done your part today. Hey, Roy, Bullet's trying to get us to the station wagon. Yeah. Hey, we almost forgot. He has a friend in there. A friend? Yeah. The Welsh Terrier McReady and his men were planning to use to pull off their scheme. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little dog. You bet it is. And some youngster in Paradise Valley is going to have a mighty fine new pet. All right, Bullet. We'll give it to someone who lives near us. Folks, Dale and Pat and I, along with Trigger and Bullet and our big, exciting Western variety show, are going to be making personal appearances in 20 Midwestern and Southern cities during April. We're looking forward to meeting a lot of friends of ours and of Post Serials. During the next few weeks, I'll tell you just what cities we'll be visiting. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Happy trails to you Until we meet again mm -hmm. The Roy Rogers Show was brought to you tonight by Post Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal. Grape Nuts Flakes is the cereal Roy likes best for strength and energy. Look for the picture of Roy and Trigger on the front of the package. The Roy Rogers Show can be heard again next week at this same time with Pat Brady, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An Art Rush production written and directed by Fran Van Hardisfeld with music by Milton Charles. Happy trails to you Until we meet again Happy trails to you. Remember what Roy Rogers says, Post Sugar Crisp is the cereal treat that's fun to eat. Roy's right, fellas and gals, as a cereal it's dandy, with milk or cream. 
For snacks, it's so handy. Or you can eat it like candy right out of the box. Ho Sugar Crisp is excitingly new, deliciously different. Nourishing puff tweet, candy coated with honey and sugar. Ask Mom to get Poe Sugar Crisp in the big red, white, and blue box with the three bears on the front tomorrow. Featured in the cast were Frank Hemingway, Jack Moyles, Vincent Perry, and Charles Seal. The script was based on an idea by Bill Kelsey. This is Art Ballinger speaking for Post Grape Nuts Flakes. Stay tuned for the latest news brought to you by Log Cabin Syrup.